Hey everyone, in this video you're going to learn how to segment your followers easily. This is how you understand your audience when you can filter them into groups. And I'm going to show you every filter you can use and how to use it step by step with examples. And make sure you stay to the end because then I'm going to show you expert marketing techniques that social media specialists are not taking advantage of. Let me show you how easy it is to use follower segmentation to your advantage so you can strategize better. So first let's go to our dashboard. So from here, go to community analysis and then to follower segmentation. This is where you find your whole following and you could apply filters against them to bring it down to specific groups that have demographics that you choose. You can also stack filters to get strategic however you need. So uh, you can start maybe with location, bringing people down to the city level if you want. Uh, words in people's profile, which is usually what they talk about on Twitter their gender, occupation, age, and language, their follower count, when they're last active on Twitter, the date they followed you or when you followed them, or people from our search and explore feature, which allows you to find people with specific demographics. You can find verified accounts and people with profile photos, which usually means they're active on Twitter. And you could also bring in lists that you have or any list you choose with an Excel file and, and, bring, and bring them into this follower segmentation. And finally, you have tweets, which is our hashtag and keyword analysis, where if people in your following are talking about a specific topic, you can bring them in um, as well with this follower segmentation. So let's look at some examples here. This tool is super helpful if you wanted to know how many of your followers likes a specific topic and maybe what demographics they are as well. And what this looks like in practice is let's say you're going to have an event um, or attend an event in San Francisco and you wanted to invite your followers to this event as well. So we can go over here, look at our followers and then filter them by location. And we're going to go to the USA uh, down to California and find San Francisco. Okay, so once we apply that, now we have all of our followers from San Francisco um, in the list here. Now, for example, let's say this is a funding or networking event and you want to find only CEOs uh, from this list of people in San Francisco. So let's go to the word in the profile and type in CEO and apply it there. And now we have a smaller list of specific CEOs who are in San Francisco that we can invite to this event. And let's say the list was really long, then we can export it easily into Excel, we could bring it into Twitter as a Twitter list, or to Tweeps map, which is faster. But in our case, there's only 11 people here, so we can direct message them no problem. All right, let's look at another example here. Let's say you want to do a collaboration with influencers or experts in the Web3 and blockchain technology space. So let's go find a word in their profile. Um, we'll type in blockchain and we'll add NFTs and maybe Web3. So this is going to expand the list when you have it. So it's blockchain or NFTs, which means it's either or. So that'll, that'll bring you more people. We can apply that there. Um, we can also add um, a follower count because we want people who are a good fit for our collaboration here. So let's say um, we're gonna do greater than a thousand and less than 80,000 here. Perfect. So this looks like a good demographic that we can use uh, for collaboration. So we have more than 500 people here, which means we can easily export this list into Twitter for an ad campaign and invite them to something, or we can keep adding filters and find the perfect person to collaborate with. As you can see, you can get as creative as you want with follower segmentation, and you can get a deeper analysis on your followers by knowing what they like, who they are, and where they're located as well. And from there, you just have to take action by exporting it as a list, creating an ad campaign, or reaching out to people with direct messages. So now I'm going to show you some expert marketing techniques that not a lot of people are taking advantage of. If you want to build a community or target people with real impact, follower segmentation is going to be your secret weapon. Because according to Adweek, 76% of marketers do not use behavioral data when they're running ad campaigns. So here's an example of this. You can filter people by tweets, which means that they interacted with a hashtag and keyword analysis report that you created. So if we run an ad campaign towards this topic, it will be hyper-targeted to users that we know have already interacted with this campaign. Now, here is my favorite strategy you can use with follower segmentation. 
One of the biggest problems marketers feel is they have engagement metrics, but this data does not go deep enough to show them who their followers are and what their demographics are as well. Because if you know who the people are and what they like when they're engaging with you, you cannot do marketing better than this. You have all the data you need. So let me show you just how we can do this here. Like we said, you can import list or an Excel file. So let's go up to our publishing and to our engagement dashboard. And we're gonna take the data from the last month. Then scroll down to our most engaged users and we're gonna add them to a list. Let's create a new list and we're gonna call it engagers march okay and we're gonna add it to a list because it's faster than twitter if you wanted to manage this list or export it for any other reason you just have to go down to community building and click manage lists but here we're going to take this list into follower segmentation and we're going to uh, filter our followers from this list so let's um, do engagers march Perfect, and it's just that easy. Now you can add more filters and figure out their demographics so you can cater your content that's specific to what your audience is interacting with um, to create a better community and keep that growth going. I hope this was helpful, and now you know how creative and strategic you can get with follower segmentation tool. Just to wrap things up, today I showed you how we can filter and segment our followers and really understand them by looking at their demographics and sorting them into lists and all the things you can do with those lists, like bringing it to Twitter or exporting it for your own uh, further analysis. I showed you how to categorize your followers and engage with them and how you could make an ad campaign that's super targeted to what people are already talking about. Segment your audience into lists filtered by who they are, what they do, what they talk about, where they live, and what conversations they're actually engaged with. Take advantage of deeper data 